All right, I'm going to show you in this video how to get not get lint in your roller. One of the biggest mistakes I see people do is they actually, uh, when they buy the rollers, they buy the contractor's pack of rollers. Like if you're buying, you know, your nine inch rollers, you buy one of those packs of nine or six. A lot of times those rollers will have so much lint in them. Uh, they're not really very well made. And so if you're buying those, you might want to switch what you're doing. Uh, they don't hold and release very much paint. You know, I've used them before, you know, some places where, you know, that's the only roller I could get or something like that. And you end up with a lot less, not as good as results as you do with a decent roller. So number one, I would say buy a good roller. Um, the Purdy White Doves are a good roller. Um, even these ones here in the packs aren't too bad. Um, these ones like this one, you know, for the mini rollers. I'm going to use this one as an example to how to not get lint in your, in your paint. But even the if you're going to use the cheaper ones, if you use this method, uh, it will actually help and make it turn out a lot better. So let me just, I'll, I'll show you this in a second. Uh, a couple more things to know is a lot of people are uh, using lamb's wool. Lamb's wool is a great roller for walls. Um, be careful if you're using lamb's wool rollers. Uh, they do wear out. A lot of people run them and run them and run them and run them. They do, you know, 50, 200, 300 gallons with one. At some point, you got to keep watching that roller, how much paint it soaks up and how much it releases. And at some point, you're going to want to replace that roller, even though you can wash these out and reuse them. That's one thing that's really nice about these. These here, I never wash out and reuse because they just don't work the same the second time. So the synthetic rollers, I usually throw those away when I'm done with the job. I do not wash them out. It takes you a lot of time to wash them out. These, it takes no time. So if you want a roller that you can wash out and reuse, one of these lambs will rollers, uh, lamb skin. I like the, the merino skin, merino lamb wool skin roller. Uh, I don't know. I got this one for free, so I wasn't going to argue with it. But um, a lamb skin roller uh, is is really good to, to reuse. Uh, these I just use and throw away. That's what I do. And some people will be like, oh my god, you throw those away. Okay, well, because the second time I use it, it's not going to hold as much paint. It's going to cost me more money than it's going to save it's cheaper for me to replace it and buy a new one. It's actually less money. I lose less man hours. So, this is what you got to do if you want to if you want to get no lint in your paint. There's a lot of different ways I've seen guys do this. I've seen guys take tape and wrap it around the roller like like this. I've seen them do this and they sit there and wrap it all the way around. And they wrap it all the way around. I'm doing it with the thing on it. And then they pull it like this. And then it comes off. And they do that twice. That's kind of the long way to do it. It's not the way I do it. So I'll use the tailgate on my truck. I'll use the wall. And I'll hang a piece of tape like this. Let's get this over here where you guys can see. Stick it down like that. Take my roller. Use it as a 9 inch with the Slim Jim, whatever, and go like this. Now, all the lint that's loose is on the tape. And I'll do that twice. So, I'll usually what I'll do is I'll pull my tape a little bit further and do it with more of the tape. But I, since you guys, I'm going to keep you guys in frame. I'm just going to do it again. So, I move that piece of tape up. And I'll go to a fresh part of the tape and I'll do it one more time. So now all the loose lint, now if you get one of those cheap, cheap rollers, the contractor pack ones, you might want to do that three or four times. And then if you're using oil base, which definitely if you're using oil base, I would not use one of those cheap rollers. You're going to be paying for it and all the extra work you do. Um, but if you're using if you're using oil base, I know some of you guys still use oil base, and we don't have it here anymore. But I've used it many many times. 
Uh, what I'll do is I'll go to the interior on the interior. Most most time when you're trying not to get lint is on the interior, exterior. Most time it doesn't really matter that much. People aren't that picky about it. But on their interior, they're most picky. Go to the inside of one of the closet doors and paint that first. So that's the other trick there if you're doing oil base. So after you've done delented your roller and you get a better quality roller, especially if you're doing oil base, go to the inside of one of the closet doors where nobody's going to see it. Paint that first. Okay, paint a coat on there and then it'll release whatever lint's rest left onto that area and um, then proceed to do the rest of the house. So a little trick there for you guys. If you didn't know that one, I, you know, most of you guys are going to know this one. But I was reading some comments on another channel and I noticed somebody was, and there were some likes on it. Somebody didn't know how to get the lint not to come out. Number one, bad rollers. Number two, de-lint your roller before you start. I do this on every job, even with the cheapest or best roller I have. Um, the only one I don't do that on is the is a lamb's wool. So on a lamb's wool roller, this is the only roller you want to get wet before you start. So what you do with this is you actually wash the roller before you start using it. So get it wet, rinse it all out, and then use this roller and the, do the same thing. Go in an inconspicuous area, start rolling there. You might have some lint, but usually not. Usually the lamb's wools don't do it like the like the synthetic rollers do. Um, and so like I'll start in the closet, roll a little bit in the closet before I start, and then I'll do the rest of the house or building or whatever. It just depends on where you're at. But um, on a fresh roller, and I always get it wet first because then they will actually work better. I've seen guys try and use that technique on these, and they just end up, you end up with a mess doing that. I don't, you don't ever start with a wet roller with the one of these. It's just, a, that's not the right way to do it. Another thing you can use, I forgot to mention, that they don't leave length either, are these, this is, an, I know this is a generic cheap one. I got these for exterior, okay? It doesn't matter on the exterior what I'm doing. So, this is a uh, microfiber roller. And the microfiber rollers, um, they, don't, they don't lint as bad. So, I still de-lint them. I still do use the tape technique. <clears throat> but the microfiber roller is another way to uh, beat that. And they hold and release good paint. I like the micro microfiber rollers, even on the interior. They actually work pretty good. Uh, they're kind of a medium. I'd say they're kind of between a lambskin and a synthetic roller they're kind of between the between the two so they're kind of good for some things and not good for others kind of figure out what they are as you as you get to paint for a while you know you know it just takes all this stuff takes practice it's just these are just ideas to put out there for you you can use them and then practice with them and then figure it out from there and you'll probably get better and better as you go but uh, if you kind of listen to what I'm saying, it kind of gives you a baseline to figure out your own stuff. All right, I'll talk to you in the next video. Please like, share, and subscribe.